four dogs, all of them fatally poisoned here in Madison County. Just the other day, this family walks out and here underneath this tree, they find a chunk of tainted hamburger meat. Now they're left searching for answers. Somebody intentionally has tried to kill our dogs and they they did a horrifying reality for Chelsea Martin and her family after not one not two but four of their pet dogs die within hours of each other it's one of the worst things we've ever seen I mean we we rescue a lot of animals all of these dogs were rescues it started Monday morning when Chelsea let their schnauzer out he came back and minutes later started having seizures within an hour he was dead then the three other dogs started acting sick so the family went outside to see if the animals had gotten into anything my son was the one who found the bigger bigger trunk right in here um, and then just there was sitting on the lawn yeah just sitting there so it was a pretty good sized trunk and then we found it and it was balled up that chunk hamburger meat stuffed with poison and left on the Martin's property. Why do you think somebody would do this to you? I have no idea. We have not had any complaints. I mean, and if even if you know, we understand not everybody is dog lovers like we are, you know, but if you've got a problem, you know, let us know we're we're going to fix it. We don't want them to be a, an annoyance to anybody. Friday, Madison County detectives announced 21 year old Christopher Hill has been arrested and charged with a felony count of poisoning animals. But to the Martins, that's not enough. They feel like four beloved members of their family have been killed for no reason at all. We purposely take these dogs from neglectful situations to avoid situations like this and then to have it happen to our own dogs. It was just like a, a kick to the gut. He'll never understand what he's done to my family, what he's done to my kids, what he's taken from us. The family has now installed no trespassing signs on their property. They tell me they don't plan to get any new dogs anytime soon. Reporting in Madison County, I'm Nate Eaton, EastIdahoNews.com.